Hey, good afternoon, y'all. So I'm going to bring you your energy update real quick before I go to the park and get out here with Mother Nature to get grounded, okay? So let's see what's going on with you guys energetically. Don't forget, flip these rolls. Take only what you need. Leave the rest and please use the spirit of discernment. Don't force anything to fit in this message. I don't know if you're masculine or feminine. You're going to flip the rolls. If it's not your energy, it's someone that's connected to you, okay? Is their energy all right so I got the caring connection in the reverse all right so it was some it, it's yeah been some disharmony or emotional rift or something between you and somebody else is what I'm seeing hostility card is up so definitely feeling like you know you may have been very guarded or defensive when it comes to this situation now somebody has a plan okay because I do see that this plan is being executed, basically. <laughs> the strategy card is here, and then the envy card is in the reverse position. And how I'm seeing it here is that whatever it was that could have been dissatisfying you with this situation here, now there's a strategy being made, or you already executed this strategy here to be able to bring this connection back into balance, okay? So let's talk about this. Tell me about the caring connection in the reverse. <clears throat> Right, so whether you made this, you know, make going through with this plan or this person in this connection is doing it, but here go the Page of Pentacles up, oh, right? Somebody definitely made some plans to do it, okay? So, nine of cups so that's what's up it's like whatever you were going through with this person i feel as though somebody has taken the role of being the bigger person and actually you know trying to see how to bring balance in to this okay um this connection could have been ending or um a separation or something happened miscommunication whatever that may be what happened the devil's in a reverse position so yeah so egos are being dropped is what i'm seeing okay so somebody is choosing to really just kind of stand in their power at this point here and um here with the three of swords reverse position again reconcile okay so the reconcile reconciling could be just you know reconciling your differences trying to come to a medium here where you can be able to uh bring the balance right here go the queen of pentacles here in the reverse position so mm, this queen of pentacles reverse could be someone who is it could be in both dynamics it could be someone who is insecure or self-absorbed very shallow individual this is somebody that could be like a gold digger right um or they're not even if they're a gold digger it's like more like they're in to material things is how i'm seeing the queen of pentacles reverse usually when you're in the upright position you're a healthy balance okay um but this is the type of person here that may hide behind materialism okay um to feel important i guess that's if that makes sense and what i'm seeing here with the five of swords here in the upright position that there's some type of conflict or some type of argument that may have happened in that situation you got four swords in the upright position so whatever that may have been okay i do feel like there has been a pause okay and within this pause of course somebody has withdrew their energy all right so this sounds like a lot like um somebody's withdrew their energy from this situation straight like that but you know how af after you pause you you rest you take some time to recuperate and shit like that <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. After you take that time to recuperate, you can now, you healing, you can now get back on track. And that's how I'm seeing it. The high font here coming out and the eight of cups coming out in the upright position. And what I feel like is it could be a lot, have a lot to do with um, commitment. Okay. Somebody is walking towards their higher purpose in life and leaving something behind. And... 
because of this, this is where it seems like this, this harmony is coming in it. Okay. Somebody feels rejected is what I'm also pulling in. So tell me about the higher font. Yeah, Ace of Cups in a reverse position. And that's what's happening. Someone is feeling um, sadness. It's a separation and everything I feel that's going on within this. It's, it's, it's like that emptiness feeling or that cold feeling, right? You know how you got this emotional loss and it's just like, I don't have these feelings. I may have once had these feelings, but I'm, this person is walking away from from that okay it's like this is something that's not serving them any longer all right so let me see something here so whatever is taking place here with that connection here it seems to be a lot of disharmony because of it yeah eight of wands comes out in an upright position so of course something happened all right some type of communication may have taken place things seem like they may have taken place pretty fast but what i feel like here also, and let me clarify the Eight of Wands. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. What I feel like here is that it's some, uh, yeah, Eight of Cups now comes in a reverse. Something is being orchestrated basically from the heavens, right? From the um, spiritual realm. And this is what's coming in quickly. It's like that support or, or um, prayers answered, things like that. Something just coming in really quickly because someone was not, making the decision to move forward basically stuck should i stay should i go you know what should i do um that energy with that eight of cups reverse and instead of going towards a higher purpose in life boom they weren't okay and then this is where how i'm seeing the eight of wands coming in like okay you're not moving let's try to see if we can get this thing going okay like this is like heaven saying let's try to see if we can get this thing going right um or the universe however okay Mm -hmm. I see a king of swords reverse position so it could be air sign energy as well fire sign energy coming through earth sign energy coming through on top of that okay so tell me about this because in order for there to be some type of progress made right you got to walk away from what is no longer serving you yeah king of wands upright and that's what I'm seeing so someone has definitely um, made a decision here to really go towards their vision is what I'm seeing. The, the King of Wands, when I look at her on this card, it's like this determination here. Like, I will fight you for this, right? I will fight you because I need to move forward at this point, okay? So, whoever this masculine energy is coming through, fire sign energy. Again, y'all don't have to pay attention to that necessarily, but if that resonates for you, that message is definitely for you. Someone is now having this clear vision. Mm-hmm. Empress in a reverse position, y'all. That's like a mother figure or child's mother or something like that that I have going through coming through here. Okay. Um mm -hmm. so what it appears is that there could be some issues between you and your baby mama, okay? Or if you the baby mama between you and your baby father, all right. That's how it's looking. Or this could be shit totally like not even your situation and your people's connected to you. I'm reading this story. I, this is crazy. But it's like here um, with this Knight of Wands energy coming through. And I'm going to read something to y'all real quick. So when the, I'm sorry, Knight of Wands, I meant the King of Wands. Okay. So when the King of Wands come through, they ain't really too interested in, you know, dreaming up ideas and, and things like that. They're more inclined to taking the idea and then getting other people to help them to do it. So that's why I'm feeling it. It's like this King of Wands may have been asking other people, you know, what should they do, given, getting some type of advice so that they can be able to push through with whatever it is that they are envisioning for themselves within this situation. Okay. And, um, and let me see something. Yeah, two of cups comes out next to the nine of wands. Because here, within this connection, right, this could be a friendship. It doesn't even have to be something here where it's, um, 
a love relationship could be a partnership a friendship but it could be love right however you know the empress in reverse would definitely you know indicate at some point there was some type of relationship okay but what i'm seeing is like this is a situation where there's a lot of adversity and it's requiring this person to have to stay um resilient to it because it seems to be like a setback something here has maybe caused some type of setback or some type of um ill feelings let's just put it that way and with this it's like you gotta stay resilient because there's gonna be adversity right either way and i feel like what is going on here is as someone is trying to move forward someone is trying to keep someone from not moving forward okay but it also seems like there's going to be some type of how do you say it? and what i just heard was like peace offering or something here so show me what i need to see tell me more about the empress and reverse yeah the emperor comes up in the upright so whoever's operating in this emperor energy masculine energy um has a, a particular goal so what is that and it seems like this is where it's coming in and it's like okay we gotta work together let's work together right so show me what i need to see the emperor so it feels like it's some type of um, balance that's being brought through I, I like the energy because of the fact that whoever this masculine energy is they are operating in an upright position they're not in the reverse so they're not lacking the structure it's more somebody here who the emperor of course is a father figure right it's not somebody who is um not disciplined or or you know being reckless in their energy this is like someone who's actually really trying to strategize here some type of plan to be able to move forward yeah because the world card is in the re in the reverse so some type of plan to close out a particular cycle okay um in their life so tell me about this yeah temperance card is trying to come out but it didn't so basically again how we're seeing it is do i got them all yeah wanted to get all my other cards here so what it looks like here is that there's balance being brought into this situation straight like that. And it's coming from the heavens. Like I was saying, it's like it's coming from the universe. It's requiring some patience, but um, it's happening so that there could be some type of peace, peacemaking or some type of um, uh, peaceful resolution here between the two, you know, so that everybody, whatever your perspective may be, can be accommodated. OK, um, it, it definitely feels like it's a very stressful and overwhelming time, but of course the balance has to be restored in order for everyone to be able to work together is what i'm seeing here okay so yeah the tower card comes out so the tower had to fall on this situation so you know if this is your situation and you're going through this with um someone you have children with this is something that the universe orchestrated to try to bring some type of balance into the situation okay so tell me about that yeah, the Queen of Pentacles reverse still keeps coming out. The Queen of Pentacles reverse also my reverse court cards would represent people operating in their in like a karmic energy, a lower energy, um, coming from that that place of, you know, needing to love them themselves more, right? Um, because again, like I explained, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse could be very insecure or they could be very self absorbed or or something like that, right? Um, sometimes they're in connections for the wrong reasons, you know status money things like that but however this tower had to fall in that situation to get things moving eight of wands to get things moving quickly why page of swords comes out because there's some things that are not being communicated okay so whatever the communication is that needs to come through the universe is basically helping you guys to be able to to now come to some type of common goal right where you can share your ideas and communicate these things here um without it being such an emotional uh situation yeah i got a queen of pentacles up right now you know so this could be third party energy and what i'm seeing tell me about the queen of pentacles upright so remember i was telling you the queen of pentacles upright is someone who's a healthy balance okay someone who um 
Yeah, it's like they're not into material gain, but they ain't afraid to make no money, right? Boss type energy, homemaker, friend, things like that. They do it all. And I'm seeing here is that somebody is scattered in their thinking. They're kind of like, again, coming across as defense, defensive or failing to communicate some things. And here with the star card coming out in the reverse position, of course, it could lead to some type of despair, okay? So... It's some stuff that needs to be communicated. So this is happening so that it can be communicated. Okay, so that some things could get moving here. Hmm. So why is the dissatisfaction there? Look, because the devil is here all day. Mm-hmm. Knight of Cups, something has to stop. Knight of Cups, the devil card comes out in the three, um, five of pentacles in a reverse position. Okay, so of course, we got some stuff going on here. And it's like something is trying to stop someone from being able to move forward here. And um, it could be some type of addiction. It could be, you know, uh, obsessions. It could be codependencies, you know, whatever that is, dissatisfied, whatever it is. And it's like the enemy, pretty much, that's how I'm, I'm going to put it, because the, the devil, right, or the ego mind, um, something or people, right? Whatever it may be, could be trying to prevent this Knight of Cups from being able to move towards whatever the they're passionate about, move towards whatever they are envisioning for themselves. Okay, and here again with the Five of Pentacles, it's like in the reverse. I'm saying it like boom, getting in the middle of these challenges coming to an end, right? So, and that's how I feel like whatever is happening here between. Um, the Queen of Cups upright and the Queen of Cups reverse and our good old uh, King of Wands. Okay. All right. Third party energy going on strong. King of Wands got two dynamics. It's probably looking at a karmic and a divine feminine is how it is it's, it's looking to me as I'm looking at these three on my board. Um, but yeah, it's like how I'm seeing it is like this masculine energy just is, is moving very slowly, but gracefully. It's like they are moving towards, you know, fulfilling something there, something that they're passionate about. But I do feel as though something has to end. And this is what the universe is saying. It's like, whatever this is that's taking place in this connection, it's not healthy. Okay. And it feels like it's not healthy for both dynamics. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles upright. Yeah, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So what in, what's happening is, is that this Queen of Pentacles upright, okay, is, how can I put it? I, I don't want to say being breadcrumb, but it's not an equal give and take. Let's just put it that way. It's not equally being reciprocated, okay, um, when it comes down to, work, you know, that creative partnership, right? The friendship, the, uh, the love, like it seems like it's there, but at the same time, you know how you are, if you're juggling something, somebody's going to catch the shit end of the stick. And it seems as though, you know, that's where it's falling at. It's like this reckless behavior is affecting this queen of pentacles upright, right? And this is why the universe is here trying to speed some things up because, Apparently, like I said, this has to be some type of divine feminine energy coming through. Okay, so it's interfering here with the actual purpose of the connection. Okay, so remember like the karmic energies, they're only there for lessons. They're not there to be there with you throughout the whole duration. They serve that one particular role and then it has to, that cycle has to close, close out. But a lot of times we don't close them out due to our own ego or fears and things like that. And we keep repeating the same cycles, having to go through the same scenarios, the same breakdowns um, over and over again until we actually learn. Okay. And what I feel like here is that the universe is trying to bless this masculine energy here in some kind of way right the lovers is in the reverse but there's been a lot of bad choices that have been made and it's a lot of conflict and disharmony okay so it's like whatever's happening is happening on both ends it's like everybody is um 
in this energy of being defensive. Okay, that's how I'm seeing it. So if you ain't know, you ain't if you ain't know what was going on, and you sitting up here as the Queen of Pentacles outright, <laughs> you're having your issues. This other Queen of Pentacles reverse is having their issues, you know, with the King of Wands upright. Okay. And now the King of Wands is now in this energy of, you know what? I got a clear vision. I know exactly what I need to do. Strategizing. Okay. Here, temperance here again. Here we go with the universe or your angelic guys trying to bring balance here um, into this situation so that everyone can co collectively work together well. Okay. Um, because it's necessary, right? Where there's confusion, you know, God ain't in that. It is like, even if, you, you know, you got children with someone, it doesn't have to be one of those relationships where it's, you can't work together. You're supposed to be able to co-parent together for, for the one common goal, which is the children. What's the ancestor message for this? Nah, I can't even get the cards going, y'all. Father Sims. <clears throat> that don't vibrate real quick, y'all. So Father Sim comes up in the reading is asking you to review your position regarding the situation. If you take in an extreme or one-sided position, now's the time to consider things from a more balanced perspective. Things do not have to be black and white, so don't force it to be. If you have been asked to compromise or cooperate, but you feel resistant to the idea, this card is a good sign that you haven't considered all the aspects of the situation. If you've been asked to give someone an answer, don't respond until you feel more censored. To do otherwise may cause deep regret regret and feelings to be hurt unnecessarily. So try to be fair, right? So yeah, don't come at the situation out of emotion. And that's what I'm feeling like, you know, when we have those moments of pause where we're disconnected from people, it happens to help us to be able to gain better perspective, right? You can't think clearly or hear your intuition when you're caught up with in the mess in the midst of conflict right so in this in those moments i do feel like you know someone now has the ability to you know have a plan okay on how to be fair or how to um compromise within the situation and if not it should be done right so it says here these are some things that you should consider. What would be gained by compromising? Is it worth more than the perceived loss? Are you being fair? Sometimes less is more. Extremists never think they're extreme. <laughs> Isn't that so true? Like people who operate in that extreme energy, they never think that they're over doing anything or being extra, okay? But peace is priceless. So focus on healing and recovery. It says an alliance is not such a bad idea. So how can you align or, you know, you have that alliance there with that person? Like you don't have to, you know, be buddy, buddy, best friends, but we got to work together, right? We have to work together for one common goal. And that is to, um, to co-parent, right? If that's the situation, it, it seems very much like that to co-parent or to take care of mama or, you know, whatever that may be, right? If it's just a family dynamic, but we have this one common goal and that's what we need to do. So how can we, how can we work together? Okay.
Okay. And so that seems like what it's about. It's a, it's about now. Yeah. And the balance is being brought so that things can be done now in moderation. And it, it doesn't have to be extreme. It has, doesn't have to be here where it's hostile. So, um, or you're defensive or it's one-sided. Tell me about the strategy. I wanted to see about the strategy real quick. And that's what it is. It's, it's someone really trying to figure out how they can begin to, um, how they can begin to like come out of this energy to be able to, again, collectively work well together with the people involved in this situation. I got the page of Pentacles here, the nine of Pentacles here in the reverse and the moon card upright. I do feel like somebody is heavily right about giving up their independence for real. Um, and it feels like that single energy. It's like someone uh, doesn't want to do that. I, I, I heavily see it. It's like this masculine energy doesn't want to commit. Doesn't want a commitment. Okay. Um, and this is, seems to be what the confusion could be all about. The fact of committing. All right. But... Look, the emperor is in the building, y'all. <laughs> the emperor is standing up, okay? Um, coming in here with their independence and their confidence as well to be able to, like, bring some type of solution to the problems. Tell me about the commitment issue. nine of cups upright so this is something here that's desired it's someone's wish fulfillment it's the queen of pentacles reverse the queen of pentacles reverse wants to be committed this is something that they want from their baby father <laughs> okay king of wands reverse all right <laughs> but but baby father here is in the energy of like uh-uh mm -mm, that's not my goal right that's not what i'm planning to do Okay, the King of Wands in the reverse, as you notice, the King of Wands was in the upright the whole time I've been reading. But as when the King of Wands is in reverse, they are very, they can get quite impatient. Okay, and they don't, they run from commitment when it comes to relationships. Nah, they like the pursuit of love. Okay, but when it comes to it being steady, then that's the part where you got them fucked up. <laughs> Okay, so they be like, mm. no, uh, that's not what the plan is. But I like the fact that I can chase you. or I like the fact that I can connect with you and have these caring connections with you and have these caring connections with people, but never really planning to actually show up as that person. Okay, so there you go, y'all. All right, so if you wanted to know and, and you the queen of pentacles up, right? And you sitting up there trying to, you know, I got a pentacle to give too, right? So, you know, I got a, a pentacle to give too. So what's up, right? Hey, hey let's see. <laughs> what's the energy with the king of wands towards the queen of pentacles up, right? No, <laughs> they are experiencing a hardship too. Five of Cups and the Knight of Wands reverse. Okay, they are night over there. All right, so it's a lot of disappointment and things. That situation is just not turning out the way you know that's expected. Um, a lot of how can I say it's like sadness. I feel like it's sadness, and uh. That masculine energy doesn't know how to channel their energy to, in the right direction to take the appropriate action there. So they could be kind of impulsive or or things like that when it comes to that queen of pentacles. Okay. And that in and out energy, not really knowing how to move forward within that connection. Um, or even stay inspired is what I'm hearing. And it's not really about that person, but it's because of the adversity. Nine of Wands upright. Okay, so they're facing a lot of adversity and it requires them to have to really stand tall and be strong and be confident and be resilient when it comes to this. So they, they come to the Queen of Pentacles upright as a Knight of Cups, okay? Um, never fully in that Emperor energy, but I feel like that Queen of Pentacles is definitely there 
divine counterpart, okay? Um, that connection is uh, divinely ordered. I think they're doing some work on an apartment in the building, y'all. I, it, it I just um, tuned in and was like, what is that knocking noise? <laughs> yeah, because the Knight of Cups can be, is a person who's very much in love with the idea of love. And they'll go out of their way to show it, okay? They'll go out of their way to show the love. And I feel like that's what they do for this um, Queen of Pentacles upright. Or divine feminine energy. Let me see here. Yeah, so they actually, you know, they listen. They listen to their heart when it comes to that situation. Whether it's actually logical or not. So they, they follow their heart. Um they are, I do see it's like an, a, a significant emotional connection here with these two, okay? And when it comes to the other aspect of it, it says, sometimes it could be some type of unrealistic expectations here of what a perfect partner may look like or what a perfect relationship looks like. And that seems like this is what this person may do. They may overanalyze it. Okay, um, the connection itself. And what it ends up doing here is they usually end up going for love, from lover to lover. And that's what it feels like is happening. This is why you find yourself caught up in this third party situation because it is Knight of Cups energy. Like I wanted to break this down and really read um, what the description of it is, right? And this is why you may feel, you know, you're going through what you're going through. It's like they always are in the pursuit of love, right? So it's like... Um, trying to find what the idea perfect partner would be like for them and at one point they may not have seen you as the queen of pentacles upright they may have thought this other person was that person but come to find out they end up being a reverse queen of pentacles this person end up being you know not a healthy balance shallow self-absorbed you know selfish okay and then It says it ends up leaving a string of broken hearts simply because each finally showed their very human flaws. Be aware of approaching your romances with this attitude and try and enjoy things in the moment and, and keep the real world in sight as you go on your quest for love. And that's what's happening. Yeah, so this Queen of Pentacles was overlooked. Okay. That's how I'm seeing it. It's like, however it happened, this Queen of Pentacles was overlooked for the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Of course, this person is going to show up and show their um, abundance, like their money. They're gonna, you're gonna see it. They're gonna wear it. You understand? It's like they're gonna wear their gold chains. They're gonna wear their makeup or their whatever, right? They're gonna, they're gonna look the part. They're gonna look like the status quo. They're gonna promote themselves as that type of person. But when you look at the other one, doesn't she look like she's humble? Like she's earth, she's down to earth, right? She's in her, she's, she's still got her stuff together, well put together, but is more on a natural type of flow, you know, not so much in, um, material gain is what I'm seeing with that. And, uh, yeah, that's what's going on y'all. This is an interesting situation. Wow. Yep. This Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's a lot of endings, a transformation and everything that's taking place here with the death card. So things are coming to the, to an end, most definitely. Relationships are ending. A lot of major phases um, that you guys have been going through, okay? And a lot of unexpected stuff. But it feels like what's happening here, this is a call to rise above the materialism, to guard against the impulsiveness, the fears of changing Okay, the refusal to face the fears of changing. Like, this is, seems like what is being faced here with this King of Wands energy. Seven of Cups, right? Having a lot of options. And the Page of Cups. 
Page of Cups comes in, usually they're coming in, you know, more apologetic. Um, they don't really know how to express certain things. It's like they have the ideas, but then putting it into action is one of those things of they don't know how to actually do it. Okay. So they keep a lot of things to themselves. Let me pull something here from, let me see if I see the deck. No, it's probably underneath the, oh, I think I got it. See something, y'all. Okay, no, it's not there. Oh, yeah, here it go. Stacked up over here. <clears throat> you are safe. Wow. This is what I told myself this morning while I was driving. I just felt... I'm steady, so I just had to say, sis, I love you. <laughs> Calm down. You are safe. Okay, so tell yourself that. Pro you are being protected from lower energies. And like I said, with this Queen of Pentacles reversed, this is someone who operates in their lower energies. This is like that karmic energy I keep, you know, referencing hello from heaven and like i said your angels are literally helping you your guides you have loved ones in heaven who are supporting you protecting you guiding you and giving you signs and synchronicities to show you that you are going to overcome your difficulties so just be aware okay the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges all right you are overcoming your difficulties even if it doesn't look like it, of course, because, you know, when a storm comes, it may feel like, oh, here we go again. Now nah, embrace the storm because it's helping you to face your challenges. And then this is how you are being made stronger and you are taught your new lessons. So instead of becoming bitter, have an open heart with compassion towards people in similar situations. Let go of any blame or feelings of victimhood. This is why you are now overcoming your previous challenges. So, you know, this is what helps you if you haven't. Some of you are now starting to see that. Taking a more positive outlook and attracting a loving solution and even new situations at a higher level of spiritual understanding. So stay positive. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good Friday. It's the weekend. Stay positive. Things are working out for your highest good. Peace.